Hello everyone, welcome to the first 10th grade Navient's lesson. Today we'll be doing SMART goals and learning how to set a SMART goal in Navient's if you haven't done so already last year. The first step is to log in to Navient's, uh, the main Edmonds Woodway High School homepage down in the bottom right hand side. There's a Navient's button. Go ahead and click on that. And then your password is your computer username that you normally use for logging into other things around school. And then your Navient's password is here. It's the four letters of your last name and then four numbers. And those four numbers is your the two digit birth month and two digit birth date. So my birthday is March 6th, so it would be 0306. If you have any problems with logging in, counselors are in the counseling center right now available to help you out with technological issues. Uh, come on up and then you can return to class and complete the lesson. Um, and then when you log in, you'll see the home page and you should have a welcome message for tasks to be completed. Here's what the home page should look like to you. Uh, there's two tasks assigned by your counselor. We're just doing the first one today. We're just doing creating 10th grade SMART goals. We'll do the career cluster finder later on. When you click on 10th grade SMART goals, this is the page you should see. And it says below to complete this task, you'll need to create a goal. We're not going to do that quite yet, but this is the page you should be seeing right now. First, we want to watch, we want you to watch the video that Navience has created for how to set a SMART goal. So when you click on the tasks assigned to me, the purple tab, it will take you to a page that looks like this that has a, uh, four different tasks or roughly four different tasks. Click on the video, go ahead and watch it, and then afterwards click on Create 10th Grade Smart Goal. Here's where you actually click the link to create the actual goal. And it should bring you to a page that looks like this with a small area for you to write the goal and then the different areas of the goal, the S and the M and the A and the R and the T. So go ahead and start by reading about SMART goal setting on the left hand side and then make sure when you're making a SMART goal today there's something in every box, both the, the main goal line and then the five areas and those five areas are listed there, number three. You can do just one sentence in each of the boxes. Uh, you can do more if you want but one sentence minimum in each area. Make sure your goal is an academic goal for this year as opposed to some other type of goal. And then once you're done in each of the different boxes, you have something in all the fields, click Add Goal on the bottom right hand side. And then it will ask you to set a date for follow up and pick any time in this, this year that you think it would be a good idea to revisit the goal you created. We'll leave that up to you to determine the best time for that. Could be at the very end of the year if you need. Congratulations, that's it for today. Thanks for working hard on your 10th grade SMART goal creation. We'll be back to visit with you with more Navient's lessons and other post-high school planning activities. Thanks.